boy, right, Pat. All right, here we go. Number nine. Here's a, a great scene from the ending of Escape from Alcatraz from 1979. Hmm. Get up, Morris. It's moving day. I said get up, Morris. Mm -hmm. Open up 109. Morris, I said get up. Morris oh. ain't there. Mm. What? Stop. So Clint Eastwood plays a convict who, along with two brothers, was able to successfully get out of the prison in 1962. And here are the actual dummy heads they made by mixing soap, toothpaste, concrete dust, and toilet paper. They tucked those into their beds to fool the night guards. It's worth noting there was a fourth guy who tried to escape but didn't make it, and oh, his boy. head was probably the crummiest one. You can see these real-life dummy heads at the U.S. National Park at Alcatraz Island. Mm. All right, number eight. Would you wash your face with soap made from snails? A French artisan has a snail farm with 60,000 of the little critters. He harvests their slime by lightly rubbing them to release gastropod oh, fluid. Oh, used to oh, that sounds so good. That's, that's, that's a good job. Come yeah. on here, you little mollusk. It's time for your rub down. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, snail mucus, you know, is becoming a more common ingredient in beauty products. Huh. It's because of its anti-aging properties. Says that? I Who don't knows know. that it has anti-aging no, properties? I don't know, but I'm going to keep reading because I'm might find out. Snail slime apparently contains collagen and elastin, which are both good for the skin. The artisan says when it comes to extracting the slime, yeah. it's all in the dexterity of how oh, yeah. you tickle. This is life in general. <laughs> yeah, I knew a snail tickler back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's the same one that he I He wasn't do. selling soap, though, I can no. tell you that much. <laughs> I think it is the same guy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. See, that's what a professional does. He just he, he just keeps the train right. on that's the tracks. Why he's well here. done, that's yeah. 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 They seemed like they were done with everything they had to add. <laughs> I don't to think that. they were, well, but you no. I was just showing <laughs> restraint. Yeah. Thank you for keeping us on yeah. the straight and narrow. Thank I appreciate you. it. You're welcome. Number seven, seems like they're making everything 3D these days, including your pasta. Researchers concerned about the environment and all the plastic packaging discovered a way to make flat pasta that morphs into familiar 3D shapes when cooked. Cut grooves into flat dough. The depth and spacing of the lines determine how the pasta will form when it's boiled. When it's put into boiling water, the dough expands to form the full noodle. The idea Ugh, is to find ways to save uh, on packaging. Flat pasta is less expensive, uses less packaging than traditionally shaped pasta. Hmm. Number six. I want to bring your attention to an article that I think our audience will enjoy. And it's from The Atlantic. Okay. And the title of it is, The Body's Most Embarrassing Organ is an Evolutionary Marvel. I'm in. Yeah, and this piece <laughs> is all about Uranus. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not just being silly and talking about the planet with the funny name. I, I'm, this is actually about Uranus. Oh, uh, you can read for yourself, but the entire article oh. is about Uranus. The yeah. subtitle is fascinating. Give it it to says, me. and yet we have very, uh, very little idea where anuses mm -hmm. come from. Well, I think we kind of know where they yeah, come no, from. Yeah, no, that didn't really seem to be but a mystery to me. But that is actually, it's an article about anuses. Oh, jeez. In the Atlantic. Huh. Mm -hmm. so I didn't know it was an organ. I didn't, I didn't know how to categorize it either. Orifice. Right. That's a fun word to say. Orifice. Orifice. Yeah. <laughs> anus is a pretty good one also. Yeah. You know what? If they don't want us to talk about these words, they shouldn't make them so fun to say. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> it's science, Dan. What's the matter with What's you? Matter, Get Dan? it together. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's science. Hold the show uh, together, dude. Really? I love, love filling in. I love filling in the <laughs> night. Do you have the next anus story? No. <laughs> Dan, or is that someone else's? <laughs> no. hmm. Pat has the next one. All right, number five from the late 19th century. These are Dr. Wandsbro's nipple shields. <laughs> Here we go. They no. were made. We're moving all over <laughs> for protecting sore nipples oh, from teething babies. Well, well, this seems like it's a very uh, yeah, it's a health-minded, health you know, <laughs> historical. Yeah. Well, an advertisement from 1892 reads: "For ladies nursing, yeah, they are easy to wear, holding on like limpets." 
Limpid. Sore nipples heal whilst reposing in the bath of milk secreted within the shields. Well. Which yeah. give at the same time both comfort and protection. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Boy, look at those. Talk about, somebody who, talk about a doc who was ahead of his time. Old, doc, yeah. old Dr. Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what it said on the that's packaging. Doctor Dub's mm -hmm. nipple shields. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, because who knows more about protecting nipples than a man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boy, this is uh, like this is a show oh, just for the junior high kids yeah. today. No, Larry is so really? happy he's not here no, today. He'd no. be very angry. All right, number four. Here's a quick one. A guy in southern Guatemala decided to make use of the ongoing eruptions from the very active mm. Hakaya volcano oh, yeah. by starting an on-site pizza business. He makes all sorts of pizzas that are then baked on a pan right in the middle of the smoldering rocks on the, on wow. the lava. Good People come from all over the world to enjoy the experience of eating pizza made on volcanic heat. Huh. Yeah. But how do you get it down from there and still hot? And, or is he serving it right there on the side of the volcano? I think you have to go where he is. I mean, he's, wow. he's not a delivery yeah, service at all. It's not the best business model, but we have yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, there's, he's got takers. Doing it. Sure. Mm, God bless. All right. Customers. Number three, uh, for the ladies here, unless you're Mary Poppins, We've all experienced the frustration of searching for a certain item in your purse and pulling out everything except the actual thing you need. I'm thinking about Sarah Ginger for this story. Yeah. yeah. She walks in the studio every morning with this massive bag and she oh, has really? everything it's in there. Much. She can never find anything. Mm -hmm. uh, well, now much. Sarah can save some time here with this mini LED light, the Soy Purse Light, a three pack that turns on automatically as soon as your hand wow. goes in the purse. Hmm. So you can see everything that's inside and it stays on for 10 seconds and the battery lasts up to two years. Wow. If it isn't the problem, everything, it would bury the light. That's would it not? what I was so just makes thinking. It totally useless. Yeah, I don't know if they're on the sides, but uh, again, Sarah Ginger would benefit from this product. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, courtesy of the internet, some accidental camouflage. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Person on the right. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Ah, wow. Wowie, wow. Look at the internet is fun. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she looks like she's fun too. Man, she looks like a party. Look at him. You a uh, whimsical sock guy? Where do you fall on the whimsical socks? Both of you guys. I'm all navy. You're he only wears navy because he only wears, wears navy. blue. Uh, yeah. Now I have a variety, but uh Pat, you know, you, you, I know you, you and my dad are, are pals. My dad yeah. only asks for crazy socks for Christmas. He doesn't like anything else. He doesn't like yeah. any presents. And so He's a very, he, he likes to wear colorful pants. Colorful like he, pants, I can see him in teal pants. Yeah, he likes just oh, loud, crazy socks. Pants. You're he ever looking for off, presents? Though. Yeah. The old P-square. Yes. The old Ponce. All righty. Well, number one already. It's yeah. almost a shame we got we to gotta end it here. Yeah, it is. Uh, Please turn away if you're a little squeamish, all right? Okay. Uh, this is an old clip of a magic trip trick from a morning show in Poland. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it does not go well. Oh, no. The magician is, <laughs> the magician is hiding nails inside of paper bags. There's no oh, blood. No. Uh, you may but not want to watch. But if you're a little squeamish, oh, but if no. you're not squeamish, watch yeah. some people no, really get hurt. What? You may not want to watch. Prawdziwym oh, no. oh no, 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 Taki oh. to sposób, Boy, rozwalamy good. po kolei. Oh. Jedna dziurka. Zrobimy tak, zrobimy oh. na trzy. Oh. 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 oh no. <laughs> What happened? What happened? The nail went in her hand. Oh, <gasps> przepraszam. Przybiłem ci rękę. Naprawdę, przybiłem ci rękę. Przepraszam. Wait a minute. Ała, ała, to było ała. What is going on? Wow. Oh, no. Well, he's also a first aid medic. He's trying to tell her what to do. 
<laughs> oh, shit. Is that for real? <laughs> I'll tell you. What just happened? Oh, I'm going to say this. I don't want to live in a world where you can't trust uh, yeah. a bald magician with a long ponytail coming out of the base of his skull. <laughs> if yeah. that is the world we're going to live in, then damn it, I don't want to live in that yeah. world. I'm with you, Patrick. If you can't trust that a guy like that is on the level, yeah. then who can you trust in this crazy world of ours? We may want to rethink having any magicians what on What did I show. say? After they freak me out. Focus. You want an update on the on the yeah. Yeah. woman? She was taken to the hospital with superficial hand injuries, and she got a tetanus shot because, you know, you don't know where that nail has been. Yeah. That magician had been on Poland's Got Talent, which <laughs> tells you all you need to know what? about the level of talent in Poland, apparently. What the heck? I, did, I couldn't even watch because I saw the size of that nail. Did she yeah. hammer the nail into her own oh, hand? Into the palm. Yeah. It was smashed in the bag. There's not yeah. going to be a nail there, but guess oh. what? Yeah. There's a big he nail in there. messed up. Huh. Well, oh, magic's man. complicated. It, listen, it if she did it right, no one would see that. Right. Now everyone's seen this. Magic is, you don't know how many ladies have act actually gotten sawed in half before that trip <laughs> was perfected. <laughs> That's magic. They're just torsos. <laughs> yeah. Just littering. Every, yeah. Poland. TV studios. Yeah. Just everywhere. Just, yeah. <laughs> just pairs of legs. Yeah, just walking around yeah. everywhere. Looking for their top half. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the night at night. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs>